Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Volkov is six years his senior. He is five inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 10 losses. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 5 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam Duivasa. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, your back to your corners, come out fighting. from either guy to their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. All right, he engages in a single color tie here, and they separate. Shot to the body now blocked by Tui Vasa. Volkov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Volkov gets hit by that kick to the body. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nui Vasa's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, collar tie. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Ooh. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for Ty to Ivasa. forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Yeah, yeah. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. Oh, fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Out of range with that one. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. So we call on the numbers here. 40 total strikes have now landed for Ty to Evans. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Alexander Volkov. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Right hand punch in the clinch. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished for a better Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up shot. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Boy, Ty Plum. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Volkov. Oh, huge kick! All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's one in the underhook, they win in the And 
they separate. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout time! Bam, bam! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times, walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now. He is healthy. He is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Sean Strickland.
And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last bender out of All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the floor. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. And they separate. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, you're going to have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. Complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Sharika! All right, so a major result here tonight as we continue to digest it. A submission win by the number one contender, and he is now the new UFC middleweight champion. A tough night for the incumbent, an amazing night for the challenger, and he is celebrating the result in his corner right now. Congratulations.